Yeah, yeah, I know you already talked about this earlier with the whole John David Jackson thing, yeah. so I, you don't have to rehash that. We got footage of it, so we'll put that out for sure. Um, but later during training, you, you, you made a comment. Um, I, I can't, you said something about wait until I tell you guys this. I didn't even tell you this. This yeah. will let you know. Can you, can you kind of elaborate on no, what that was? it's just along the lines of like what I talked about earlier, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, conversations that you know he had with my team and you know I think one of the last things he told the team before we made the decision to not bring him in was uh he I don't know how soon after the fight but he had a, a conversation with Kovalev where you know he basically told him man what he did wrong like Look, man you know he brought the fight to you you let him do this and that you need to change some things mm. and he and he said that his exact words where he got you know not physically, but verbally, he got he got violent. Wow. He got upset. Mm. And uh, he said, you need to change some things. Wow. And I think, I think that was the last straw, and that's when he went on his way and felt like he wasn't going to be back on that team. So mm. how would I know that? Right. Well, clearly he would have had to tell you. I mean, and I never had any direct conversation because I stay away from that stuff. Mm. I don't really have anything to say, you know, right. even when – we entertained it, but, you know, it's my team's job is to vet it. And then, you know, once me and Verge got a chance to talk, you know, we, we, we killed it pretty much immediately for two reasons. Number one, you know, Verge has worked really hard to get to the position that he's in. And personally, I don't – I know how the media would take that. You know, oh, you guys had to bring in John David Judge. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. And I don't want that kind of thing even being associated with him because he deserves better than that. You mm -hmm. know, he's worked hard. And, and in some cases, he doesn't get a lot of the credit he deserves. He's one of the best coaches in the world. And furthermore, if he's doing that to his top fighter, I mean, what are we? It's just a money transaction. I mean, who knows, mm -hmm. you know, how he would treat us. And and it's just not something – that's not the kind of vibe you want in camp, man. Yeah. And really, we don't need it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the reality of it. You know, it's cool from a psychological to play mind games, and it's not needed, though. Mm. You know, I want to go to war with people that I know are aligned with me. I don't want to have to go – to my to my room at night, say, man, I don't know about this guy, man. He's acting funny. You know, he's looking at sparring. I don't know. That that's a distraction. Mm -hmm. So, good storyline. Uh, probably would have um, got in his head, but we kind of got all we needed without bringing him in. Mm -hmm. Because while we were deliberating, he broke a cardinal sin, a cardinal rule. Mm. Did a lot of talking. Wow. A lot of talking about their training camp habits. Uh, what happened during the fight, before the fight, and after. Wow. And we didn't go solicit this information. At least I didn't. Mm -hmm. So um, well, I'm not going to go back and forth about was it true or not. You know, I let, I'm going to let you know, my, my team talk about it as they see fit to talk about it, but make no mistake about it. We didn't reach out to him for anything. Mm. I wouldn't, there's no need to. It's not the first time we fought John David Jackson. It's the second time we fought him. Mm -hmm. Fought him when he, when he trained Allen Green. Mm -hmm. Like, he's been out there. There's nothing in that fight that happened where we would think that we would need him. It actually would have been a distraction, and that's why we didn't do it. Does that kind of let you know or give you a sense of what's going on in their camp, though, just knowing, not, not necessarily everything that he told you from the first fight, yeah. but just knowing that he's over there now and he has that relationship with him. So, I mean, clearly, it can't be a good relationship between them two. It can't be. No, I mean, I, I think he probably has – I mean, I don't want to speak out of turn. I don't know why he has – I don't know. It just seems like it's turmoil, and I'll just leave it at that, mm. you know. But John David, besides some of the specifics, pretty much everything he said we knew. It was just a confirmation of what we knew, the dude's temperament, the way he treats people, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Lufkin's trying to say the same thing. I think he let him go when he was yeah. 15, 14. And he's like, I can't train to do. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not the first time you've heard that. So that same bully type of mentality, don't tell me nothing, I'm going to do it my way, the same thing he's just playing right now. Mm -hmm. It's a temperament. It's a mindset. So you yeah. got to deal with that.